going to have the wild greens with sautéed mushrooms. And what kind of mushrooms are you using today? And today I have uh, morels and a, a bit of porcini. And those are these right here. And some fresh shiitake. And then these are for the these other mushrooms are for the egg sandwich. We have a market egg sandwich with uh, shiitake and maitake mushrooms and um, some cheese from the farmers market. Whatever we we don't have on the farm, we supplement with products from the the farmers market. So we have um, spring onions from Gathering Together Farm, which is right directly over there. <laughs> I was just over there visiting. They have beautiful, beautiful yeah. stuff. Yeah, and Briar Rose Creamery supplies our cheese. So I'm just going to get, this is some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm getting that nice and hot. And then we're going to add shiitakes to that, and, um, and then the morels and the porcini, which are um, sautéed a bit, and I, I started off on this venture um, sautéing them all to order, but uh, morels are ideal when they cook for about 10 minutes, and people are um, coming down to the courthouse here for quick lunch, going yeah. back to the office. So yeah. I sautéed these this morning. So and, freshly um, sautéed. So really nice. fresh, but yeah. Yeah, so I've got the shiitakes that are going to go in. And one of the benefits of working directly with the farmer in a, um, a situation like this is that um, well, the, the food cost is much different, so we can give a really generous portion of I was going to say, that looks like a lot of mushrooms. Oh, wait till we hit it with the, the morels and the porcini, because um, it, it's going to be very generous. And, Beautiful. Uh, and that's part of what we just want to do. The bounty that's on the farm is, is going to be brought fresh to you. And, um, these are shiitake mushrooms. They're for salad. Yes, yes. We have the same in France. Uh-huh. We. Oui. And the yes. Yes. Yeah. Morille. 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 Yeah. It's a test. It's, it's very, very tasty. They're wonderful. Ooh, wonderful. Yeah. Are you visiting Portland from where? From where? From France. Yeah. <laughs> but where in France? <laughs> Some place. <laughs> Some undisclosed location. In Bordeaux. 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 Oh. I hope you're enjoying Portland. But it is different. It's like something in my mind, but it's different. Oh, very good. Bye bye. Au revoir. <laughs> it can get dangerous near a hot, near a hot kitchen. <laughs> that is uh, cheese from Briar Road Creamery here at the market. And so happy. Tofu. For the miso soup. The smells, I think, are attracting everybody to your stand. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a too serious knife for cutting tofu, but it's kind of fun. Garlic, little uh, some garlic, mm -hmm. yes, and persil, persil, garlic. Wonderful, thank you. Okay. And I'll show you the amazing wow. greens. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wow. And uh, these are the greens. And um, Roger both grows and wild oh. harvests these. Wow. It's now, what do we got in here? It's just an amazing mix. There's um, lamb's quarters, which is not lamb. It's a lettuce. <laughs> and um, 
It's magenta lamb's quarters and oh. amaranth. And this is some purslane um, and chickweed. Oh, this one's beautiful. chickweed. Yeah, so. And these were harvested um, yesterday. Fresh off Spring Water Farm. Right. Almost ready for the salads. A little bit, a nice amount of greens. How are things going here? Are you guys pretty busy? Yeah, it, it's really getting the busy. word out. It, it was surprisingly busy last week at the um, 5th of July market. Um, so this is a little dressing and it's uh, some raspberry vinegar that I made uh, with last year's raspberries um, at the height of the season. And if you want to make raspberry vinegar, it's expensive to buy, but it is so easy to make. You take some kind of overripe raspberries, put them in a mason jar, cover it with white wine or champagne vinegar, put it in the sun for a week or two, and then um, just let it sit. And then in about a month or two months, you can strain it off, and then you have raspberry vinegar. And that's it. Easy. Easy. Really easy. And you've got, you may have a, a few of those mushy raspberries that you can't quite get to, and just put those in the jar and use those, yeah. and they're going to be perfect. The queen of berries, I always like to think of raspberries. Yes. <laughs> so that's Oh, that great. smells so good. You'll have to take my word for it. It smells really, really good. And so, uh, so then the raspberry vinegar, a little bit of white wine vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper. It's a really simple dressing because we don't want to, um, we don't obscure want to anything. obscure anything. Yeah, exactly. So. Completely hands on here. Oh yeah. Hands are one of the best tools. And Taste everything. Mm. Mm. And voila! <laughs> yes. <laughs> As the French couple might have said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then these fantastic oh. mushrooms. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. 